Hey guys, I'm so excited to share these new fruits I got at uh, my local farmer's market. This is called a white sapote. The largest ones I found were about this size. And um, you know that they're ready when they're kind of this... Uh, it kind of gives a little. It's, a, you know, like a soft to the touch. and It's more of like a golden or like a yellow undertone on this green fruit. It is so creamy. When I put these in the fridge and I just kind of ate them, they taste like ice cream. So I think this would be really good to eat by itself or or make like a raw um, dessert, like a custard kind of thing, or just put it on top of a piece of toast. And um, this is a, a, a subtropical tree, so you can actually grow this. Um, if you can grow avocados, you can definitely grow these. So in Southern California, there should be no problem here. These are it's quite a big tree, kind of like an avocado, but it doesn't stretch as wide. It is a tall tree and it bears so many fruits. The reason you don't find this at a regular grocery store is because they are very fragile to handle when they start to soften up. The skin is very thin, so yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite fruits right now. I'm just going to cut this open to show you what it looks like. Now most tropical fruits, you can actually grow them from seeds, unlike a citrus where you have to graft it. You can also eat the skin, but it is a little bitter. This is what it looks like on the inside. Mm. Mm. This kind of gives a little when you press it. See that little dent I just made? So this is ready to eat, but you can leave it a little softer than this. Um, just, you know, kind of right before it turns sour though, because that's the fermentation stage happening. But right before it turns sour, when it's still really mushy, it tastes like a sweet avocado kind of texture. Mm, a very light hint of sourness sometimes you get out of the fruit, but I think it has like a really light Doran kind of smell once in a while. Um, yeah, a little bit, but it definitely doesn't have that strong sulfur which people like or hate in a Dorian. As you can see it is so buttery. Mm. It's definitely not like a juicy fruit, but it is pretty filling because it's so <laughs> creamy like if you're eating avocado. Here's the seed. This is the biggest seed. Mm. That was so good. You guys got to try it if you ever come across this fruit. I think you'll really like it. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this, please hit subscribe for more. You can also follow me on social media that I have listed just below the subscribe button. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.